Grace Missionary Church. Yeah, my name is Kodon Shkwela. I come from Zanini. Yeah, basically from Ilim, Father Fale. Yeah, the problem that brought me here, it was a problem of stagnation, like no progress in life, and the problem of rejection. In all these problems that you mentioned, how were they affecting you? Yeah, it was really affecting me because there was no progress in life. And like there was the, like a, uh, you become rejected, and you were not accepted in the community, not accepted around yourself, like around the people around you. Like uh, it affects your life also emotionally, mm -hmm. really. And I believe it also affected your family. Really, it also affected my family. Uh, lots of quarrel, lots of fights inside the house. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the things that brought me here. With this quarreling that you were having in the house, how was it affecting you spiritually, physically? Were you praying like before? How was it affecting you? Yeah, actually, like you, it also block your, your prayers. It also make you not to continue being faithful, mm -hmm. reading the Bible, always concentrating on the problem. Today, by the grace of God, we are able to see the prophet on a one-on-one -on -one session. How was the experience and what did he say to you? Confirm the prophecy that he gave to you, whether to be true or not. Yeah, the prophecy was true just because he told me that like, I'm having the challenges spiritually, especially in my family. So I confirm it to be true. Mm -hmm. And with the issues of quarreling, did he tell you the root cause of the problem? Yes, yeah, it's, yeah he said that uh, it was spiritually. Yeah, there was a spirit behind, the demons behind that was making the quarrel in my house. Mm -hmm. And at that particular moment when he prayed for you, how did you feel? Jesus. Leave the demon, leave my brother. Leave it. What are you doing to him? You are doing what? Fire. What are you doing to him? Huh? Open your mouth and talk. What are you doing? Fight. When's that in it? What happened? Fight. What are you doing to him? Huh? Punish you, demon of Satan! Number one, what are you doing? Fight. Speak. You're doing what? Number one, what are you blocking in his, in his life? Number one is what? You're blocking what? Speak. What are you blocking in his life? Huh? Number one, you're blocking what? Speak. What are you blocking in his life? Fire. You are blocking what? What are you blocking? Talk. Speak. What are you doing to him? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Speak what you are doing in his life. <laughs> huh? Jesus, 
smite him in. <coughs> Leave my brother, demon of Satan. <coughs> Vomit! Everything! Tap! Ow! Yo, I feel like I was filled with an electric. I was electric shock by the Holy Spirit. But thank you, Jesus, I'm delivered. Hallelujah. And you vomited some things that came out of your system. Were you feeling pains in your body? What is really happening to you? For a minute. Out. Out. Jesus, my God. <laughs> <Leave> it. <laughs> I can say, like whatever coming out of me, I couldn't feel it like inside, but it was coming out of my mouth like a foam. I didn't understand what it was, but by the grace of the Lord, and then it came out of my life, or of my body. Amen. Mm. As 
Because I believe that today the Almighty God has restored your life and also restored your family. Words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there. Yeah, I can say, believe in the Lord. And that you, if you have a chance, you can come up here and find your own deliverance. Amen.